Well, that's about it for the BRF. All that really remains is to kick him in the guts a few times while he's down. What I find is so, so stubborn and so arrogant is that for them to say that there is no God, just an absolute statement, a complete... Before I knew about God, I at least I, I used to think, when I was probably an atheist, I used to think that there may be a God. There you go again. That stubborn, arrogant atheist, he's imaginary too. He's in your head. He's a straw man you've made up. You're arguing against something that isn't there. There is no way to prove that deism is wrong. And so, I would never state absolutely that there is no God. When I say there's no God, I mean there's no Yahweh, no God of the Bible, no God who is the Father, who is Jesus, who is the Holy Spirit. And it's nothing to do with stubbornness, nothing to do with arrogance. I say there is no Yahweh because Yahweh is logically impossible. I don't know, but if the, if you give me evidence and if you give me proof, then fair enough, I, I might consider that there may be a God. So, If you think you've been given evidence of the existence of God, you've been tricked. When you say that there is not a God and you don't even evaluate the evidence put before you, of course I evaluated the evidence. That's how I stopped being a Christian and became an atheist. When you haven't looked at both sides of the story. Oh, trust me. I knew the joy of believing your side of the story. And I felt the betrayal of finding out it was all a lie. And I have felt something you have not. The strength of learning to th think for myself. Of learning to tell the difference between what is real and what is not. I've looked at science. I've studied science. I've looked at how much of a stupid theory it is and- <laughs> If you thought you were looking at how much of a stupid theory evolution is, I've got news for you. You weren't looking at the theory of evolution. Now go back and look at the real science, and not at the bullshit creationist propaganda version. God, how gullible are you? How that there's no, not one single bit of evidence for it. Oh, you're so close to the truth. It's just, take exactly what you just said, right? Exactly that, but the opposite. Then you'll be in touch with reality. That's why I chose to look towards uh, creation and you'd be amazed, people. Oh, don't worry. I am amazed six ways from fucking Sunday, son. At the creation evidence you'd find. That will change your thinking. Well, if that's all it takes to convince you, I've got some other evidence here that you might want to take seriously. Just apply the same level of critical thinking to this footage of Bigfoot and... Hey, I've got written documentary evidence of the existence of the Jabberwock. You can believe in them too. And the amount of prophecies you will find. Please watch. If you're an atheist, please just watch the final countdown. Please just watch one video. 20 minutes of your time. Just one. You don't have to watch evolution. Just watch it from a prophecy side. Fine. I just sat through 20 minutes of manipulative paranoiac bullshit, but I was already perfectly familiar with biblical prophecies and how completely vague they are and how people have found them to be applicable to almost every epoch of history. People have been expecting the end of the world for as long as there have been people. And guess what? We're all still here. I can't believe you haven't seen through this cheap ploy to play on your fears and make you feel like you're something extra special because you're living at the end of the times and you're gonna see it happen. It's just a fucking scam to keep you scared and obedient and forking over your money to the church. And yeah, I know this, this message is a bit weighty and a bit, a bit heavy, but... <laughs> oh, fuck. Do yourself a favour and learn how to think. It has to be said, because I've I've been proper having some spiritual warfare with atheists and I'm just trying to speak to them. You're not engaging in spiritual warfare. There's no such thing. What you're doing is indulging your superstitions. And if you're going to try and speak to us, stop trying to tell us what we believe and why we believe it. Because you clearly haven't got a clue. You couldn't be more wrong if you tried, and it's just plain arrogant anyway. You do not reject God based on intellectual reasons, but you reject him upon moral reasons. And that's the truth. Whether you like it 
on the You are an arrogant, simple-minded fool who wouldn't know his ass from a hole in the ground and wouldn't know the truth if it walked up to him on the street and said, Hi, dickhead, I'm the fucking truth. By the way, you are now my bitch. I've fallen and I can't get up!